नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द एलेवेंथ एपिसोड ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज डी के हल इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड विद डिस्कस्ड राइजोबिया एंड इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस फॉर लेग्यूम्स सिमिलरली फॉर नॉन लेग्यूम क्रॉप्स देर आर माइक्रोव्स दैट हेल्प इन फिक्सिंग एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन इन सॉइल एंड देयर फॉर इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट थ्री नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स दैट इज एजोस्पिरम एसिटोबैक्टर एंड एजोटोबैक्टर application of bio fertilizers has several benefits apart from yield increase and shall be discussed at the end of this video for practical benefits we suggest watching the video till the end rhizospirillum is known as plant growth promoting rhizobacteria it penetrates into the roots utilizes the root exudates atmospheric nitrogen etc for its growth and multiplication and lives in harmony with the plants azospirillum is beneficial for crops grown in the greenhouse as well as in the open fields azospirillum converts atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia and provides 30 to 50% of nitrogen requirement of crops it saves 15 to 30 kg nitrogen per hectare that is equivalent to 32 to 65 kg urea per hectare as per field experience azospirillum has beneficial effect on a range of crops however the effect on paddy maize and wheat is worth mentioning percentage of yield increases when biofertilizers are applied along with manures the spirilla when applied to paddy the yield increase ranged from 9 to 13% in punjab and 12 to 28% in jharkhand in case of maize yield increased by up to 27% in jharkhand while it was 22% in rajasthan similarly when applied in wheat crop yield increased up to 19% in rajasthan 25% in uttar pradesh and up to 21% in jharkhand being associative in nature completes the life cycle along with the crops and hence needs to be applied or inoculated every season to every new crop as a spirulum should be applied either as seed treatment or seedling dipping or even sometimes through soil treatment doses should strictly be as per the recommendations only azospirillum also colonizes the roots of sugarcane and fixes atmospheric nitrogen to the tune of about 50 to 75 kg per hectare per year but in the last few years another nitrogen fixing bacteria that is acetobacter is recommended for sugarcane crop as it can fix more nitrogen than acetobacter and has also certain other advantages Acetobacter is also known as acetic acid bacteria. Acetobacter is economically important because it is used in the production of vinegar. Acetobacter being more efficient colonize the roots, solubilize the phosphate, iron and zinc as it survives high sugar that is up to 10% concentration in the soil. Let us have some interesting details about sugarcane cultivation. As per an estimate, sugarcane crop yielding 100 tons per hectare would remove 200 to 250 kg nitrogen 120 to 150 kg phosphate and 175 to 225 kg of potash per hectare from soil and therefore in most of the countries including india farmers apply a minimum of 250 kg nitrogen that is about 550 kg of urea per hectare plus other fertilizers interestingly the brazilian farmers use only about 50 kg of nitrogen per hectare but surprisingly the deficiencies are negligible and produce about 40 tons more canes per hectare than india this is due to successful soil management and biological processes contribute to the nutrition of sugarcane cultivation even in india as per our field experience average yield of sugarcane ranges between 52 to 58.5 tons per hectare in uttar pradesh and that between 58 to 68 tons per hectare in rajasthan additional application of acetobacter produce 60 to 68 quintals per hectare yield in rajasthan and 50 to 60 quintals in uttar pradesh plus 1% increase in sugarcane juice recovery therefore in areas where sugarcane is a major crop application of acetobacter and other suitable by products will bring relief to the farmers 
cut down the cost and will certainly increase the income manifold. Acetobacter should strictly be applied in soil at the time of plantation in case of new crop and after the harvest in return crop. It is interesting to share that acetobacter can also be successfully applied in coffee plantations. The next biofertilizer is azotobacter. Azotobacter is a free-living aerobic microbe. Azotobacter forms cyst during the resting time and therefore azotobacter are more resistant to adverse conditions. In dry soils, azotobacter can survive in the form of cyst for up to 24 years and become functional within four to six hours once soil conditions are favorable. Therefore, farmers may apply lower doses of azotobacter over a period of time. Azotobacter can be used with a variety of crops like wheat, maize, cotton, potato, vegetables, and all other fruits and vegetable crops. Azotobacter is a versatile and multi-benefit species. They have full range of enzymes needed to perform the nitrogen fixation that is ferroxy, hydrogenase, and an important enzyme, nitrogenase. Azotobacter facilitate bioremediation of soil from heavy metals such as cadmium, mercury, and lead. Some kinds of azotobacter can biodegrade the mutagenic and carcinogenic effects of some previously used insecticides, fungicides, and even herbicides. Azotobacter help in synthesizing antibiotic substances which control or suppress various diseases caused by fungus, bacteria, and viruses. It minimizes fruit cracking, flower, and fruit dropping, etc. Application of azotobacter across Indian states recorded up to 13% yield increase in wheat and up to 31% in case of fruits and vegetables. Azotobacter should strictly be applied only in the soil and doses should also be as per the recommendations only. Apart from increase in yield, biofertilizer application has direct effect as if they produce vitamin growth hormones, which increase seed germination, number of lateral roots, and root growth. This results in higher intake of nutrients, that is better fertilizer use efficiency, and better growth of plants. It can save up to 33% of nitrogen in the very first season, while continuous application can bring down the nitrogen to up to 50%. It produces more number of tillers, more grains per cobs or panicle, and grains are bold and shiny. It increases the organic carbon content of the soil and ultimately farmers' income increases manifold. Thanks, like the video and subscribe the channel. Share with friends and give feedback so that we can continue to include new topics for further discussions.